발표 시작해 주시면 됩니다. The work is from a spectacular side that catch people's attention. On the other hand, there is something that lose value in people's indifference. That's why we have started two projects to raise the resolution of the world. The first project is Muyong. This is national treasure, Sungnaemun. In 2008, Sungnaemun was burned down due to fire. There were about 40,000 intangible properties that restored Sungnaemun. Intangible properties don't have any form, so they are transmitted to all people. They span various fields such as music, art, and craft. However, they are currently facing with many crises. The average age of intangible properties is over 70, showing a serious problem of aging. More than 25% of intangible properties don't have any successor. The number of successors decreased by 30% compared to 2013. This means extinction of traditional technology. Also, this means extinction of tradition, history and culture. Why is the influx of successors decreasing? 전승교육사, 이수자, 전수자학생 are collectively referred to as successor. It takes 20 years to become an intangible property. During this period, additional costs are continuously required. But government support is not enough compared to minimum cost of living. According to government's education curriculum, the importance of intangible properties education has increased. So our solution is education program. First, we plan education program in collaboration with the successor, and we sell education program to schools to match successor and institution. The successor proceed with education program. We collaborate with Nadon Chilzang in Gwangju and start to develop education program. Through this service, students can know concept of intangible properties and experience cultural properties. It was supplemented with the advice of professor in the Department of Education. We create education kit which can experience the traditional technique of Nadon Chilzang such as Jurumje, Hacharbok, and Gunumje. We went through a process to strengthen the educational capacity of successor. We conduct a field test in two elementary schools, and we test the educational kit and test lesson plan. <laughs> to conduct field tests at educational institution. We enter the regular semester curriculum. We will expand education target participants. Also, our SDGS is 4 and 8. 281 students in Gwangju receive value of intangible properties. At the same time, the successor will generate about 850,000 won in revenue. We will proceed with more education program. Also, the sister we have more revenue than before. Through this, Muyang suffers transmission of successor and we like economic foundation by earning continuous revenue. In 
intangible properties with a history down of years are valuable. Muyang, we do our best to protect intangible properties for a long time. To put one's thoughts into it bigly, countless of crops are harvested every year, but not all of them can make it onto our dining table. They are the big great crops. Taste, nutrition, no, the only reason for the disposal is appearance. About 20% are classified as big red crops, and this amounts to 2.28 million tons, which is 30% of the total food waste. They are disposed through incineration and landfills, which causes 7.71 million tons of greenhouse gas, which equivalent to 600,000 people's emissions. So Bigley has established a mission to prevent the environmental pollution caused by the bigger crops. They have the same nutrition value, but having the advantage of 36% at lower price. In other words, this means we can buy cheaper raw materials if we process them. So we searched ways to process the fruits and found out that the domestic dry fruit market has shown a steady growth rate of 7% every year. Bigley found this as an opportunity, so we suggest Fruitship Fruity Day. It consists of Fruity Day Summer and Fruity Day Autumn made of seasonal crops. After big green crops are purchased from a farmhouse, it is sent to the factory and the processed fruit chips are delivered and sold by Bigley. Fruity Day has three major features and the first is eco-friendly. Bigley insisted only on eco-friendly organic farms and made three contracts for summer and two for autumn. By using them, we gained benefit in high nutrition value while lowering the hazard of substances, making fruit today exceptional from other products. The second feature is freeze drying. We chose the freeze drying method in order to preserve our high nutrition benefit by 98%. This was possible by Hwajin Biotech, a company acknowledged by the Safety Management Certification HASA. Bigly maintained a cordial relationship with Hwajin since our first project order was made. The last but not the least is low price. Since we were able to get supply crops in a cheaper way, we have secured 20% of the price competitiveness. Fruity Day made by our efforts has now secured two offline, three online stores, and even moved further to two more cafes. As a result, Bigley has achieved 1,490 kilograms utilization of the ugly crops, and this leads to 2,137 kilograms of redu reduction of the carbon emissions, which is the a year's worth of 323 pine trees. 2.45 million won were sold, and we were able to give economical impact of 40.1 million won. Through our actions, we were able to achieve responsible consumption and production and also slow down the climate change. In order to develop more into a more sustainable project, we focus on the stabilization of the supply system as our future plan. From the current system of buying each crop from each farmer whenever needed, we will make a crop collection system by an MOU with a farmer's organization. Then we can make a sustainable network benefit and supply stability and distribution cost. Based on our this system, Bigly will move further to our third project, Food Today Winter. Bigly will make big red crop to the best. Bigly can make big red crop to the best. We raise awareness of the undervalued things. We increase the resolution of the world by our solution. Thank you.
5분 안 심사한 분들 어, 질의입니다. 지난 1년 동안 어, 목표가 뭐였는지를 좀 듣고 싶거든요. 어, 일단 제가 먼저 답변 드리겠습니다. 저는 티그리 팀을 맡고 있는 민수경입니다. 티그리 같은 경우에는 21년 7월 처음으로 프로젝트가 런칭이 되어서 첫 번째, 첫 번째 반려동물 간식의 모두 그리고 프리티데이 여름, 프리티데이 가을 세개의 제품을 현재 출시한 상황입니다. 어, 저희가 지난 2년 동안 가장 열심히 뒀던 점, 그 목표로 뒀던 점은 첫 번째로 말해보자면 이제 제품을 생산하고 나서 이제 그러고 나서는 체계를 손보기 시작, 시작했습니다. 저희가 수급을 하는 체계에 있어서 일회성으로 계약이 되는 부분들이 아쉬워서 이에 대해서 아까 뷰처 플랜에서 말했듯이 이에 대한 이에 대한 상황을 수급하고 수습하고자 합니다. 수정하고자 합니다. 네, 저희가 저는 무용팀 무용팀 인터뷰 
그러니까 시간이 다 돼서 간단하게 너무 짧게 답변 부탁드립니다. 네, 알겠습니다. 아, 저희가 일단 장물을 수거하는 경우에 친환경공과 한곳한 곳과만 계약을 하게 되었는데 이후에 제품을 생산하고 난 후에는 그런 분들과 이제 판, 제품 판매를 하다 보니 계속해서 연결이 되는 것이 불가능했습니다. 그래서 지속 가능한 관계를 만들기 위하여 연합회와 이제 협력 관계를 구축하여 지속적으로 연합회와 연락하고 그리고 이게 기반으로 농부분들을 찾아뵐 수 있게 되는 그런 구심점을 만들고 그리고 추가적으로 사기 현재는 저희가 여름 가을만 했었지만 제품을 제작하지 않더라도 사계절 내내 이제 저희가 장부 수급받을 수 있는 체계를 만들고자 저희가 농가 협의회, 농가 협의회와 협력 관계를 구축하겠다라는 표출을 했습니다. 네 여기까지 해서 두 번째 팀 발표 마무리 시겠습니다 감사합니다.